Suppose I have A and I added sodium and liquid ammonia. So I got styrene. On styrene, I added HBr to get me B. On this B, I added C and that got me styrene back. Now on this B, if I add sodium, I get D. On styrene, if we add Br2, I get E. On E, if I add F, that gets me back to A. On B, if I add G, that gets me H. And from H, if I add S2SO4 delta, that gives me styrene again. So, you have to find all the unknown given here. Like A will be a substrate, it will be an organic compound. Similarly, E will be organic compound. F has been shown an arrow, so F will be a reagent that we have studied so far. Um, the, these reactions are only from hydrocarbon chapter and that we have discovered that I have taught you. So if we are if you are well rehearsed with all the reactions, it will be a cakewalk for you to solve this conversion problem. This is a very small, very trivial, very easy conversion. As we go on studying the reactions and we study more and more reactions, we will solve longer, tougher, non-trivial conversions. But to begin with, let's begin with this. Now the key is styrene because styrene has been given to you and the sodium and liquid ammonia is a reagent of converting, partially converting a alkyne into alkene. That also you know. And I have told you the structure, I have shown you the structure of a styrene and by now you must know the structure of a styrene because it's an important organic compound and generally in an exam they will not show the structure of a styrene they'll just write styrene so you have to know this this is styrene now this is a styrene and this is a reagent of converting partially alkyne into alkene or converting alkyne into alkene or reducing partially alkyne into alkene this you know because this was the first method of preparation of alkene that we have studied. So A you understand that A must be a alkyne. So A must be a alkyne and uh, there is no other possibility because that alkyne cannot be in the ring. So alkyne has to be between in these, that triple bond has to be between these two carbon. So there is no pain at all in finding A. So A is simple, easy. This is your A. Now from A you got styrene. Fair enough. From styrene you are adding HBr and you are getting B. And HBr we have just studied. It's an addition reaction. So you just do addition on styrene. H would be added on the outer side and B would be added on the inner side. So B would be an addition product of styrene. This would be B. Easy. Now from B, on B you are adding C and you are getting styrene once again. And then you know you have you have to find C. C is a reagent. It's organic reagent from one of the reactions we have studied. Now as you can see, B is a alkyl. It can be is 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 a alkyl halide. Is actually a aryl halide. But we have studied the reaction of alkyl halide that gives us alkene. This is the second method of preparation of alkene. Now, in this, from alkyl halide, we got a styrene by dehydrohalogenation. That means if we remove this hydrogen and this halogen, we'll get back the alkene. If, if we remove this hydrogen and bromine, we'll get back a double bond here that will give us styrene. So, removal of hydrogen and bromine is facilitated by a base. So, C can be an alcoholic 
OH minus or any other base. Since we studied alcoholic OH minus, I'll go by alcoholic OH minus. Otherwise, C can be any base in general. That is easy to find because we have studied this reaction. And from B, okay, D. Uh, on B, you're adding sodium. And just so that you don't forget reactions, I have added this. I've, and this is a aryl halide. And if you remember, just by adding sodium, sodium is a reagent of Wood's reaction. That was the method of preparation of alkene. And when you add it, there's a dimerization reaction. And D is straightforward. Two molecules of B will dimerize and will give you D. So this will be DD. As you can see, there's a symmetry. So this is D. And from if you have to find E, E the e reaction from styrene to E we have just studied addition of Br2. There will be a vicinal dibromide. So E is a vicinal dibromide. Simple, easy. And from E you are getting A. That you add something on this and you get styrene. That means you add something on this and these two molecules comes out and a pi bond is formed here. This is a reaction we have studied already, and this 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 conversion will actually make you learn all those reactions. Learning the reactions will, um, is not easy. The only way to learn all those reactions is to practice and solve this kind of conversion problem. That will concretize all the reactions in your mind. Now you have to solve this trivial conversion problem to get A. A is to ah ah ah. Okay, you can get A from E, there's no problem, but the problem is I haven't taught you that reaction and that reaction will come in the method of preparation of uh, alkyne. So let me change a little bit this conversion problem to ease up, otherwise you can solve it, there's no problem. From E to A you can get A, you know what is A and you know E and we will study a reaction in the next section of alkyne that will give us A from E. But since I haven't taught you now, so let me change a little bit. Let's get styrene from E and not A. And so in order to get a styrene from E, uh, you have to add a reagent that is F and you have to find that F. Now this is the third method of preparation of alkene that we studied that was dehydro, de dehalogenation in which we add zinc metal, that zinc metal gives electron produces a C- and that C- is transferred to the adjacent carbon, removes off another Br and a pi bond is formed between carbon and carbon. We have seen that before, I am not going to reiterate it once again. Sorry. So this will be the product styrene and the reagent would be zinc. So F is zinc. Now let's go to the that part of G and H. Now G and H, from B you are adding G and you are getting H. So first we have to find H. H would be, can be found as H is producing styrene and the reagent, when you look at the reagent you have to know that that reagent is a reagent of dehydration reaction. Now styrene is alkene and alkene dehydration reaction produces alkene as a product and dehydration reaction occurs on alcohol. So H must be having one OH group. Now that OH group cannot be on the ring. So the possibility of H. Shall I rub this? Or the possibility of H. Let me rub this. Are as follows. Either the alcoholic group can be on the carbon directly attached to the ring. Or it can be on the carbon not directly attached to the ring. There are only two possibilities. Now let's see on the merit of other branch of the conversion. Now from B we are getting H. Now on B if you see on B the bromine ion the bromine atom is on the second carbon. Now if we have to get one OH instead of bromine then that OH group will appear on the carbon where bromine is attached if we do a kind of substitution now if bromine is attached to the second carbon and if we add aqueous OH minus then SN2 reaction will occur and OH minus will substitute bromine 
I've just rubbed it out, but if you remember, if you have noted down, bromine is on the second carbon. Fine, is on the carbon directly attached to the benzene ring. So bromine is here, and from here, if we add a aqueous OH minus, then we get a OH instead of bromine. And to get a OH on the second carbon would be a difficult process and it will not occur in a single step. It has to occur via multiple step. Now there has been shown only one step. That means the OH group has to be on the carbon directly attached to the ring. So from this BR we can get this OH easily. Fine. So H is this. And now if you have to get G, so you have to think of a reagent that can do this, facilitate this conversion. And this is a simple SN2 reaction where this Br- is coming out and this OH- is getting in and that can be done by a nucleophile aqueous OH-. Alcoholic OH- is a base, aqueous OH- is a nucleophile and we have studied this in nucleophile versus base. So if you don't remember get back to that lecture and study that again. So this is all about the um, method of preparation of alkene and one of the reaction of alkene addition reaction so addition reaction is over now we'll move on to other other, other kind of addition reaction